New Zealand's rugby dominance over Australia has stretched to the women's game, with the Black Ferns thrashing the Wallaroos at the Women's World Cup. The Australians lost 32 points to five and must win their remaining game against South Africa to avoid elimination. Mark Douglas reports. If there's any team in world rugby more dominant than the All Blacks, this is it. Driving towards the line, there's the first try. The Black Ferns are almost invincible at World Cup level. They showed why against the outgunned Wallaroos. Lavia has stolen it. And she's stolen another try, is she? The forwards ran rampant early, then the backs took advantage of the tiring Australian defence. To Grant. Lovely try. One of the tries of the tournament. The Wallaroos were already trailing by 27 when they finally got on the scoreboard. She's held up though, Victoria Grant, is she? No. Try. New Zealand saved its best till last, displaying the type of skill that's led to three consecutive World Cup titles. Oh, it's lovely play again. And this Blackburn side are in a different league at the moment. The Wallaroos must record a big win over South Africa on Friday and hope other results fall their way to reach the semi-finals. The World Cup's also in the back of the Wallabies' minds heading into this weekend's Tri-Nations clash with the Springboks. Everything's gearing towards it, you know, obviously the World Cup next year and, you know, a big part of that's consistency and we're probably, you know, certainly haven't been great in that department. Pretoria hasn't been a happy hunting ground for the Australians who haven't won at altitude in South Africa for 47 years. Mark Douglas, ABC News.